All right, next question is from Truly Interesting. I'm training training for the Firefighter Academy. I'm 6'1 and 195 pounds, and I've been following MAPS Anabolic. Which program should I choose next, and should I be at maintenance or at a bulk? I need to train for a lot of running with 75 pounds of equipment. Oh, easily two programs I would recommend yeah. to this person. Uh, performance. Maps, Maps performance. Maps strong. Uh, or Maps strong could be good. So could OCR. Maps OCR. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Those three programs are going to give you the kind of fitness, strength, uh, mobility, and agility that you need to be a good uh, firefighter. Maps performance just generally across the board is probably your best bet. We, we created that program – Literally to improve, yeah, you know, build muscle, burn body fat, of course, but really to improve someone's ability to move, yeah, to 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 climb, to jump, to squat, to lift, to twist, just stronger and better, all of them. And it's really the, one of the. I think it's the only program with an explosive phase where you actually work on explosive power, which will right. also benefit you. Definitely benefit you. And I bring up strong mainly as uh, you know, follow up to, to maps performance. I think maps performance is great at uh, you know, reinforcing stability amongst all your joints and really getting you familiar with all these different uh, planes of motion and very ef- efficient and strong and and then explosive. But why I think maps strong would be a great follow up to that is because of the fact that you're talking about 75 pounds you need to carry and you need to do this with endurance. And the work sessions really address that. We even have sandbag shouldering. And, and certain moves like that that would really emulate uh, a lot of what uh, you'd be experiencing, you know, going into the fire academy. So uh, that's definitely one of those. It's unconventional. Uh, there's lots of functional uh, lifts in there that uh, challenge you, which will, you will definitely translate well uh, to to what you're pursuing. Yeah, I would probably take this per- person through performance first and then into strong. I think that uh, you can't go wrong with either one of them. I think that performance does a good job, though. We address durability in there, so there's that. Uh, there's a phase in there specifically for that. So. So that sets the table really well, I think, to transition into strong. And then to address diet, right? So you asked a question about uh, should I be at a maintenance or a, a bulk? I think either one of those programs that you go to from anabolic are probably going to put more uh, of a calorie demand. So I would probably put you whatever your what you think is maintenance right now. I would probably if I was coaching you when we transitioned into the one of these next two programs, I would also bump your calories calories slightly. Yeah, too. but from a performance standpoint, I would not go into an aggressive bulk. Here's the thing: no, with, no not aggressive, but I I would. This is a great time to add calories because they're going to be moving. Yes, yeah, program so, the program is more days a week. There's more demand on cardiovascular. There's more volume in both those programs. So literally, I'm adding calories, not because I'm trying to bulk or gain weight, but because you have more yeah, demand. No, I agree with you. That's, I'm, that's what I'm trying to say. I agree exactly with what you're saying. And what I'm going to caution you against is, because when people say bulk, oftentimes they mean gain lots of like weight. donuts okay. and everything. Yeah. Don't do that. And here's why. Um, even if you get stronger in the gym, that doesn't always translate into better performance uh, outside the gym because what you're dealing with is a strength to weight ratio, Okay. That's what's most important in the real world when you're moving your body around and doing things that require, you know, that that may be required of a firefighter. So if you gain 15 pounds of weight and get five pounds stronger on everything, yeah, you're stronger in the gym, but you're actually weaker in ratio to your body weight. Meaning if you need to climb or move something or move your body, you now have lost performance. You want a really good, like a gymnast. If you look at a gymnast, for example, they have tremendous strength to weight ratios for the weight that they carry. They have incredible strength, and so that's why they can move the bo- their bodies the way they do. So, as a firefighter, you want to have some muscle for sure, especially if you're picking up other bodies. But I caution you against the aggressive bulk. You know, a, a big, heavy, bulky firefighter is gonna—you got to move your own body uh, most of the time. You're gonna exhaust yourself a little more and make yourself less effective. So, the, the what we would do, like if I was coaching you nutritionally, is the goal for me would be: can I increase calories and not see much fluctuation on the scale? Yeah, I would do that. Like exactly. that would be a perfect world. Perfect world is okay. I know I'm about to send you into a program that is gonna require 
more demand on calories than the, the previous program we were just running, MAPS Anabolic. So I want to bump your calories 100, 200 something calories a day, mm -hmm. right? Something small, not nothing major. And then the goal is, you know, you're maintaining your weight. Now, if you're losing, then I get to add more calories because I kind of want to keep you hovering around that 195, but then slowly be able to increase calories. That's a perfect world. Perfect world is we're increasing calories really slow and you're also maintaining your weight about it. And then when you know you've over increased your calories is if you start putting on one pound, two pound every single week, you need to back off and go the other direction.